Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully installed the MySQL database server and also the MySQL workbench also we have installed it. Now we have created a simple table that is nothing but a products table. Now let's try to add some data in the products table. So here I am having here, we can directly double click on this one, title I am adding. So product title, so just I am adding a sample data, product title, description is sample product description and here image URL, image data URL and the price is around something like 34.99. So this is our basic table for first product data. So I am creating this one as a sample thing. So let's try to see how can it create. So we need to click on the right side, bottom you will be able to see the apply button and if I click on this apply button, so automatically it will be created. So if I try to execute this query again, so you will be able to see that this is the product data. Now we need to access, we need to get these product details from the Node.js app. So in order to connect this MySQL server into the Node.js, so we need to have an library that is nothing but MySQL2. So we will be using this MySQL2 library. So if you try to click on this MySQL2, here you will be able, able to open this npm package MySQL2. <clears throat> now in order to connect this MySQL2, so what we need to do, so we need to have this one npm install mysql2. So let's go on to this one here, I am stopping this one. So here I am using npm install mysql2. So I am installing this one, automatically this one will be de uh, installed as a development dependency, not a de dev dependency, it will be installed as a development dependency. So let it install. So now it has been successfully installed. If you try to see in the package.json, here we will be able to see MySQL to 2.3.3 is the version that we have installed. Fine. So now using this package, we will connect to the MySQL server <coughs> and we'll get the data from the tables. If you go on to this one and here, so this is the two, history and why MySQL to. So this is all the history and description and installation, we have did the installation and the first query. So this is how we need to make a connection. We need to import the MySQL2 and we need to create a connection like this. So mysql.create connection. Let's go and do this one. So here this is our app.js, this is our root, for root project path. So in this one I will try to use something like here at the bottom mysql. So here let's import this mysql constant mysql is equal to require of mysql2 i am trying to explain you this one so we have in, we have imported and what we need to do mysql dot create connection so in this create connection we need to send an object of configuration object so in this one we will be having first one is the host so our our host is the local host and the another one is the user user is nothing but ours is root and the password so password is password only but in the production we will be having a different password and the database so what is the database you are trying to connect so the database is nothing but node e-commerce app that's it so that's it this has been created now we will get a connection object here constant connection so you will be getting a connection object if you want you can also make it as a db also so you will be getting a db connection object. Now what I will try to do, so in order to execute the query, so we need to use db.query, okay db.query and you can enter the query. So select star from products, so this is the basic query, select star from the product, star means it will get all the rows data. So here you will be having a callback function and this one will be having error, so if you have any error you will get an error and the result and also the fields fields means nothing but the metadata what are the rows that are involved so now if you try to console.log error and console.log of result and also i want to do console.log of fields also so this is how we'll try to say now if you if you click if you open this one if you try to run npm start so it will try to run the server and now when the server is started automatically this connection will be created and it will try to execute this try to execute the query 
and here if you see this is all the metadata related to the definition call of schema definition sorry the table definition and here you'll be able to see the data which we are getting it from the database now we are able to successfully connect to the database and the error is nothing we are getting null and the result is nothing but the array of objects that is nothing but the table data so the, we are having only one product data so we are able to get this product data as an object and these are all about the column definition so what are the different types of columns we are having what is the encoding what is the table length so these are all the things we are having column type these are all things we will be having so those are not needed so the result we are got it we have got it so this is how we can use this connection so now this is a basic connection with which we have did it so like this we can use it not only the uh, raw queries we can also run the <coughs> prepared statement also so why we use this prepared statements is prepared statements are used uh, prepared statement we use the prepared statements for in order to avoid this sql injection so prepared statements also will be supported so this prepared uh, support uh, in statements can protect from the sql injection in order to use this pre prepared statements so what you will be using is you will be using this execute method instead of this query so here you will be you, you can use execute method and let's say that we are having a condition so where id is greater than 0 so instead of writing like this directly so you can write question mark and you can use the data here so how many question marks are there you can give, give as a comma oriented thing and the same output so this time we will we will be using the so now if you try to see here so here we are able to see the same output so like this so prepared statements also we can use it using the mysql2 and if you come down using connection pools so this is also one of the important concept you need to understand about the connection pool so what is this connection pool is so every time you are you are trying to run a query okay so this this time we have run we have ran only one query so now when you are trying to uh, use a multi application so you need to run multiple queries so you need to get the products details you need to get the card details category data like this you need to run multiple queries in the application for a single page to load so in that one so whenever you are using create connection offer all the queries it will try to create a new connection okay it will try to create a new connection so this will take some performance issue this can have some performance issue because of that one so we can use this connection pool connection pool helps to reduce the time spent on connecting to the mysql server by using a previous connection so connection pool means so first when the connection is created so it will uh, the what it will try to do is it will try to reuse that previous connection only instead of creating a new connection for the another query if that connection is created already by the previous query means so it will reuse that connection or otherwise if, if any other query is executing and it is busy means then only it will create an another connection it will create a pool of connection so leaving them open instead of closing when you are done with them so this improves the latency of the curve, uh, queries so here you can use instead of using mysql dot create connection we can use this mysql dot create pool and here wait for connections true and connection limit the maximum number of connections to the server you can have it as a 10 so uh, more than 10 means it will wait for the connection it will wait for the connection to be free does not create all the connections upfront but creates them on demand until the connection limit is reached so now let's let's try to see this one so if you try if you want to use it so we need to use here instead of that one so create pool okay so we are using this create pool now everything is the one and the same only so now if you try to see the output then also we are able to see the same output so that is the difference between a create connection and a create pool create connection means for every query it will try to create a connection then afterward it will execute the query whereas if you use this create pool so the connections will be left open until and unless it the complete application has been built so connection so that the any query is executing so it will try to take that previous connection and it will try to execute it if the connection is busy if the connection is uh, executing another query means so it will try to create a new connection then so this is the use of this create pool so now not only with the callback functions so the using this callback functions and all those things when you try to see so this creates some code confusion okay so not only this one so this mysql can also have a promise based oriented also so it can also uh, supports the promise api so now here we can import it from the mysql2 slash promise or otherwise you can have dot promise also and it will execute with the dot then and dot catch we can use it let's try to uh, let's try to show i will try to show you so here instead of this one so instead of having like this we can also create it in a separate table also sorry separate file also 
let's remove this all the thing and i am creating in the utils here i am creating a new file database.js okay instead of having this one in the app.js i am creating here the database.js and here i can use constant mysql is equal to require require mysql to and here i need to create a connection constant db is equal to mysql dot create pool and here we'll be having host localhost let's create it very fast localhost and the user is root root and the password is password so password is password and the database is database is node e-commerce app node e-commerce app so this is the connection and now we can export this one something like module dot exports is equal to db i am using module dot exports is equal db now instead of using this one i can use a promise base okay and this one is uh, ex uh, this one is sent as a promise now instead of using like this callback function what you can do is here let's go to the app.js and here i can use something like db dot so the db should be utils dot database db dot execute i can use execute select star from products i can use select star from products and here you'll be having dot then and i will get the data let's try to see about this data and here also i can use dot catch so when have, uh, any error occurs so you can take it in the dot catch so console dot log of error so that's it so here dot then i will try to use console dot log of data let's see what could be the output so this time i am importing it from i have created the connection in a separate database so, so, sorry separate file and i am using this connection to execute this one so if you try to see here if you try to see this is the data we are getting and in this one if you try to see here oh sorry not this one let's come down yeah here this is the data so server started and here in array of array you are able to see so whereas the first array is nothing but the result and the second array is nothing but the field definitions it's column definitions so that means this data is nothing but an array which consists of the combination of result data that is nothing but a products data and also the column definitions so what i can do i can use the error de structure data comma fields i can use it like this now the data is nothing but only the fields data here i am able to get the only the result so like this also we can use it other than this what i can use is for instead of using this mysql2 we can also use something like we can have a method promise okay so we can use like this db dot promise and if you you can get the code the same thing it will execute the same thing execute like this now if you try to see the output db dot execute is not a function so here if i try to go into this one mysql2 and we are trying to execute db dot execute okay if you try to see here mysql2 promise dot promise object use default promise object okay mysql create pool and pool dot promise okay we need to use the bracket here okay let's go into this one and here we can also use the dot promise like this also we can use it so instead of importing like mysql2 slash promise you can use dot promise here and if i go into this uh, code here so then also we are able to get the same output so like this this is the different way of connecting different ways of connecting the mysql database in our node.js app hope you understood about this uh, execution of this mysql database so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you